This next section will be about the structure of a research manuscript. Your manuscript should answer four questions. Why you did the study. What you did. What you found. How you contribute to your field. These questions are answered in your abstract, which is a summary at the start of your paper, and they are also answered in full in each of the main sections of the text, which is usually in this order. The introduction tells the reader why you did the study. The methods answer what you did. The results show what you found. And finally, the discussion answers how you contribute to your field. This structure is known as IMRAD, which is a word made from the first letter of each section of the paper. So, introduction, methods, results, and discussion, IMRAD. So, the exact form of IMRAD will vary based on the journal you selected. The position of the methods may be different. Sometimes the methods are removed and put at the end of the paper. Sometimes there's only a brief version available in the manuscript itself, but the full methods are then available online. Some sections may be combined, such as the results and discussion, and there may be additional sections, such as a literature review between the introduction and methods. The names of the sections also depend on the journal style. Some journals say materials and methods, or subjects and methods, or some just use experimental instead of methods. Additionally, different journals have different total word counts for research articles, and some may state the expected length of each manuscript section. So, when you begin writing, you need to keep these word counts, or these length limits, in mind. When you write your manuscript, however, we recommend that you draft the title and abstract first. This way, you can use these draft elements to put into the EDANS journal selector and then choose your target journal. Then, begin writing the main text, but don't start with the introduction. Instead, begin with the methods and the results. These are factual sections and you should have notes and draft illustrations to work from, so these are often the easiest sections to write, and the ones that are freshest in your mind. Your results can then be compared with those of other researchers in the discussion section, where you interpret and explain your findings. After you reach your conclusion, you can write a short, focused, and strong introduction to explain what the reader needs to know so that they can then clearly understand your methods, results, and conclusion. And after all this, don't forget to revise your title and abstract at the end. As the body of your paper has undergone multiple revisions, it's important to make sure that your final abstract and title accurately represent the current body of work. When you check your final completed manuscript, think of it like preparing a burger. It has to be complete and a convincing story that the reader can fully digest. So, the introduction is like the top bun. The optional sections, such as the literature review, is similar to an optional topping, 
such as a slice of cheese. Then the methods are similar to the salad, the lettuce topping, because they can be included within the paper or taken out and put to the side or placed at the end of the manuscript. Your results, of course, are the main element of a paper, like the main filling of a burger. And the discussion and conclusion at the very end are like the bottom bun. The references are like ketchup because they appear at the end but are important for each section of the text, although the results do not usually contain citations to other people's work. The plate that supports this whole burger together is like the declaration section, which are those recommended and often required authorship, financial, and other ethical statements. And of course, the decoration on top of the burger is like the title announcing the paper and the abstract that summarizes the paper and attracts the reader to read the full text. So, once you've finished writing, you should have this handsome and complete final product. As I mentioned before, the methods may go at the end of the paper or some sections of IMRAD can be combined and repeated. Some journals ask for separate experiments to be described in turn, each with their own methods and results and discussion, followed by an overall summary and conclusion at the very end. And some journals ask for a combined results and discussion where each finding is interpreted in turn, followed, again, by an overall summary and conclusion. 